Hi you guys, I want to share with you a few applications I've been running on my Nexus 7 tablet and also on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and HTC One X. Uh, briefly going to go through them quickly on the uh, Nexus 7 tablet purely because the screen's bigger and we can uh, see what we're doing a bit better. First one I want to show you is the uh, one that you can see at the moment on the screen which is uh, Ocean HD Live Wallpaper. Uh, very interactive, there's loads of different settings, I won't talk about it too much, you can pretty much see what it is. It's quite a nice wallpaper, works great in landscape, great in portrait, lots of features, lots of transitions, lots of little quirky things that you can do on it. doesn't seem to use a lot of CPU, battery or RAM. Uh, so there quickly is the first one I want to show you. If you're into uh, keeping up with tech feeds and uh, the latest news on tech, uh, the second one I want to show you is an application I use for tech feeds and aggregated news feeds called Appy Geek. Uh, we'll go along and open the application and you can see once it opens that uh, it's an aggregated news feed you can swap and change around you can add different things in there but basically what it does in landscape or portrait it gives you uh, various news feeds so if we go to news all news you can see again f quite a few transitions opening and out uh, I'll go to your news feeds and uh, load in the left pane on the left hand side of the screen all the latest topics that are running so you can scroll through them you can go to the feed at the, uh, on the right hand side so you click on one the feed will come up on the right hand side. You can read the feed, you can go to the original web article, uh, which is great in portrait and landscape. Uh, so that's the second one I quickly wanted to show you. There's uh, loads and loads to look at there, loads of information, uh, really useful. The third one I want to show you is an all-in-one toolbox that uh, works as a cleaner and gives you loads of system information. Uh, if we can get uh, near enough to the screen so you can actually see what I'm showing you there. It's, uh, it's called all-in-one toolbox shows you how much free RAM you've got at any one time, shows you how much battery you're running and if you actually click on it it will then take you to the application itself which is uh, only in uh, portrait mode so you get a various uh, different amounts of uh, tools that you can use on this well, first of all, all we'll start on the first screen you can see that uh, we've got system info at the top which basically gives us how much free RAM we've got, how much ROM and how much uh, memory on the SD card now on the Nexus 7 as opposed to the Samsung Galaxy S3 your ROM and your SD card will work out the same although they are partitioned and you've got a virtual SD card in there uh, they're both showing the same uh, amount of free uh, memory in there because it's all one drive that's just partitioned off uh, you'll notice there's uh, different information further down you've got uh, a battery booster which takes you basically to uh, another application that you can get free but what the battery boot booster does there, it gives you the level, temp level of your battery and the temperature in centigrade and Fahrenheit. Next to it you've got processor information, so we can see we're on an ARM uh, version 7 Cortex processor, uh, revision 9. It'll tell you different uh, information about it. Uh, because it's not a phone, we can't get an IMEI number, but you would if it was a phone. It gives you system operation, software, etc, etc. We go back from there. Uh, if we move across to the next screen, and we'll just go back and just show you this quickly. As you can see at the moment, we've got 28% of free RAM at the top there, uh, which equates to about 283 megabytes out of 974. If I hit quick boost at the bottom, you can see straight away it's jumped to 42% uh, of free RAM, 416 meg free out of 974. So for a quick boost in uh, memory, you can hit that uh, quick boost button at the bottom and get your memory boost. We go to the second page of the all-in-one toolbox. It basically gives us uh, a kill app scenario where any apps that are background and it'll show us the battery usage and also the CPU usage and it'll give, it the, give us the option to kill all these apps. So if I uh, press kill now, all the backgrounded apps have been taken out of memory. If we go to the next screen across, this is actually a, a screen of tools that are usually really, really useful. We've got a cache cleaner, so if we click on that, uh, probably won't be much in there because I've cleaned it out recently, but it gives you a, a, a reading of all the cache that's in memory, so you can clean all the uh, cache out for maps, all the files that you're running, the programs you're running, so click, click clean at the bottom of the screen, one press, and all your files are cleaned out. Be careful what you clean out there if you want to keep some uh, information in some of the applications. You've got an history cleaner, which, uh, again, be careful with. It's got your clipboard, your browser, market, Gmail, Google, Google Maps. Uh, browser history is a good one to clear out. The other ones you may want to keep some information, so just be a bit cautious how you clean that. You've Again, calls, SMS cleaner, pretty much uh, similar. If you don't want your calls kept in memory or your SMS uh, data kept in memory, you can clean there. You can clean your SD card or your virtual SD card of any cache that's there. You get a, an application for the SD card or virtual SD card 
so on this particular device I could move stuff from uh, the main memory into virtual memory so if I go apps to SD you can see that uh, I've got phone and SD card or virtual SD card at the top tells you which apps are movable down the right hand side of the screen so you can move them into uh, your SD card memory on your GS3 or another device we'll go back from that uh, what else have we got we've got a file manager there are file managers you can get but this is integrated works quite well uh, seems to uh, get everything so at the top you've got your home uh, which brings up uh, your root menu your SD card storage different files uh, if you go back again you've got at the bottom of the screen a batch and install and a batch uninstall uh, batch uninstall would be fairly useful if you like to try a lot of apps and you've, all, you've got them sitting in uh, memory and you want to start deleting them one by one it's quite cons time consuming if you hit on, on the uh, batch uninstall you can see now we've got a checklist down the right hand side you could start checking different applications off half a dozen or whatever you could always reload them if you wanted to later but say you wanted to take half a dozen or ten or how many of them you wanted to take out of the list that you've got on your device click them all at the bottom of the screen just click uninstall selected and it'll do a batch uninstall likewise in the same thing you can add a start up and you can boot speed, uh, boot speed up so you can speed your boot up when you actually boot the phone up so there's different various things you can get into there so all in all a very useful application totally free there is a bit of advertising on the bottom but very very useful and uh, handy to have especially the uh, pop down uh, notification in your top bar so that's the third one the fourth one quickly I want to show you and it's pretty gimmicky but it uh, does work there's a browser that's called floating browser and if we go into that you can see that this browser now is actually on the screen and it's moving around uh, and you get the same sort of scenario that you would on a Mac or a Windows PC so we can make it full screen uh, we'll go into landscape so we can see we've got a normal browser it works fairly well you've got all the browser things at the top so you can have your favorites all the rest of it you can search you've got a search bar at the top your pinch to zoom works fine you can have flash in it works work really really well if you want to minimize it or put it into a small screen you can take it down you can resize this on the bottom of the screen there's a quite hard to get hold of but there is a resize bar there we've got hold of it so you can resize that and you can move it around to various parts of the screen works in landscape portrait so you can have that going while you're obviously doing other things you could be sending a you know a text message this will appear on top so you can move it around to wherever you want it uh, you can resize it once you've got hold of it it's quite messy to get hold of but once you've got hold of it you can then move it around your screen once you've got hold of it uh, likewise you can use uh, your built-in keyboard to type everything in just which is totally the same as a normal browser pinch the zooms there so that's the third one. One that you may be familiar with if you've uh, looked on various forums is uh, a video pop-up that's uh, very similar to the one that's on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and it's a floating video pop-up so we'll pick this video to uh, demo and we'll just move it around and we'll go back to the home screen and again same thing on this one it is sizable and you can move this wherever you want on your screen where it's in landscape, portrait same thing again, if you tap on it, it gives you the options on the top of the screen to go back to full screen and minimise totally. If you minimise it actually goes in your taskbar at the top, so we'll uh, make this a bit bigger. If we can get hold of it and drag it, so we'll move it back over. We'll click play again. Take it back to the beginning. So you can see the video playing. If you want to full size the video, click once on it. Press on this little icon at the top and we've got a full screen. Works with lots of video formats, quite useful, quite handy, uh, especially if you're doing multitasking. You can use this side by side with the floating uh, web browser we've just looked at. Get a similar sort of experience to the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, the one that uh, comes with the S Pen. So, various options, double tap on it again, and you can minimize it. You want to send it to the uh, top of the screen, to the pull down menu. You basically do the same as that. When you get to the top of the menu, it's there in the top bar, click on it, and it'll reappear. So again, you can use it in landscape or portrait, very, very uh, handy little uh, feature, probably more gimmicky than uh, something you'd use all the time, but nice to say that you have a similar feature to the S3. That's a few uh, applications I want to leave with you today. You can uh, get most of these free on the App Store and uh, check them out. Uh, leave comments in the comment box below, subscribe and give me a like and I'll get more videos to you, uh, out to you in the near future. Thanks for watching.